Where am I? Oh, I'm back here. Wait, what? Why did I get 3,500 back? Huh? Okay, sure. Oh, did it send me back before I spent all my stuff getting the... No, because I've got light wall. That doesn't make sense. All right, let's go back to Greenwood Forest. Hmm. What did I spend it on? Buy, use items. Oh, yeah, so I spent it on this and then a couple of ethers as well. Yeah, okay. But I didn't actually save after I did that. That was silly. Oh, well. <sighs> Wait, does that mean I didn't find the second time spinner gear either? No, it didn't. Okay. Well, that's my own fault for not saving afterwards. Okay. Uh, at least two of the projects that Reaper was working on are in the same technology, so it's okay. The one that the leader has to explain me things is in .NET, SQL Server, all database technologies, and probably a mess, messy framework of database access. Yeah, I can imagine picking up old stuff can be a, a bit of a problem. Um, I don't know. Like, you hear about SQL Server a lot with database stuff, but then you hear about no SQL stuff as well, and I'm not sure what's more popular at this point. I mean, I guess SQL is more popular in general. Yeah, I've got this again. Okay. Too late now. So... Let's see. Oop. Let's go and make our save point around here. Kind of wish I had the, the A keycard doors marked on the map. I'm going to have to do the the finicky jumps again in um, the next bit as well. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, what does this lead to? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll just have to drop down. Do what we were doing before. Yeah, uh, when it comes to database stuff, um, I hear a lot about other types of SQL stuff like MS SQL, MySQL. Um, there's other, other stuff that use SQL-like languages like um, Hive, uh, things like that. So yeah, I'm not sure what the most common is. I assume it is just like normal server SQL. Oh, missed that jump. Come on. Come on, Lunite. Come on, Lunite. Ah, oh, I got hit by them. Oh, well. Just go back and forth. I suppose I was being dumb before when I was at low health. I could have just used a potion or something to recover my health. That would have saved that. Uh, but I didn't realize it would send me all the way back here without having collected all this stuff. Alright, so that's that. And then that. There we go. Max sand up. Do my bidding, Griffin. Goodbye. And yeah, there we go. There's a solution again. Okay. So, just go in here. There he picked me up. That's nice. Whoop. Uh, you know what? I'm going to save here as well, actually. Because why not? There we go. Okay, so just do some of these jumps. Thank you again for the very pick me up. Okay, here we go. Goodbye. I'm so glad they don't attack you, because that would have been really annoying if they knocked you off as well. What is this? Gun orb. An orb that imitates a standard issue Empire handgun. Pop out the Radiant Orb for the gun orb. Why don't we? I mean, 
Is that how long range it is? Because generally you want a gun to shoot things from far away. Like, further than that. I guess we'll find out. Try it for a little bit. I'm going to get my infusion. Be right back. Yeah, you, you always have to remember your infusion at um, 10 a.m. 10 p.m. Uh, UK time. Yeah, I don't think this gun's all that great. Like, it's powerful, but very short range. I think I prefer the Radiant Orb. Okay, so now we're back in Genza's laboratory. Um, there's still that one section of the map up here that we haven't got uncovered. But I guess we go from above and then drop down if we need to. Andy. Right. Save up here. I still don't understand what the markings on the map where there's a white dot in a room corresponds to. Level up. Sweet. Okay. Um, yeah, let's try going down here, then drop down, then go left if we can. Oh, no, we saw this before, actually. This root, this thing's blocked off. How do we get past this? Do I need the gun off for this? Oh, no, you do see the, the gunshots, actually. Okay, so it's not as short range as I thought it was. Okay. Uh, hmm. Still doesn't explain how to get past here, although it might be. Using oh, use light wall. Yes, should have thought of that. And then come around. That's a lot simpler. Okay. Save uh, because why not? <laughs> okay. So light wall, and then we can double jump to that handhold. There we go. Max health up. Cool. All right, that was worth it. Is there anywhere else we can go on the map? Um, oh, all the way right, actually. Go all the way right. But I need to be lower down, actually. I assume I can come back that way. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I'm back with my infusion. I didn't ask this last time, Reaper. Does the infusion taste nice, or is it kind of like, you know... Something you kind of have to take, not want to take, as it were. So we'll drop down. Ah! Experiments! So creepy. And some of them are still in the jars as well. Aha! This is the room that had an A door. Get rid of you. Thank you. Whoop. Don't mind me. Ah, more Hellgazers, you say. Sweet. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. Oh, one more. Can't just dash your way through this room. Okay. Aha! Time spinner gear one. Tuning gear needed to accurately use the time spinner first in the set of three. Another tuning gear for the time spinner. Just one more and I could save Windaria. I could save my clan. You've been changing time a lot, Lunai. That's my job. It's my duty. I can kill Nuvius now, thanks to the changes I made. Everything you do changes the timeline, changes the future. You've seen the effects of it. Yeah. Lachium here has changed. It's grown weaker. No statues and things. All the changes are good. You can achieve your goal. You can't stop. I know that. But there are forces in the universe beside you humans. Like the demons. And like you, right? Just be careful. Some of them don't like when you change things. A lot is sacrificed. Our dreams are getting full. What does that mean? Whatever. Okay. All right. Yes. Time does not affect the security turrets. Though you can't run through this room willy-nilly. I suppose that was uh, asking for a bit too much. Uh, I love the kind of phrases such as my infusion because it reminds me of FF7, Crisis Core, Zack Scene, Embrace Your Dreams. And I like the infusions that I take. I like chamomile infusion. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. 
Uh, good for the stomach and to relax after work. Oh yeah, it, it sounds sounds nice. You know, you hear about chamomile tea. You know, it's a fairly popular flavor, I guess. But I've never actually had it. I don't know what it's like. Ah, that's empty. Cool. Like, how would you describe the flavor of chamomile? That was dumb. Ooh. There we go. Uh, we can save here. There we go. Um, and I guess we are manually... Hang on. Do we have a time spinner thing? We do. Okay. Let's go back to the teleport point and uh, we can mosey on along. There we go. So, to the Emperor's Tower, we'll walk back on ourselves to save uh, and see what the room with the white dot in it is. And then we can progress somewhere new. I could use this time spinner. If I had all three tuning gears, I would have more control. I could do what I originally set out to and change history. Save my clan. Oh, so that's where... Okay, that's where you can put the gears. All right. Good enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, we made a save. Let's head off to the Emperor's Tower. All right. So this is an entirely new area for me. Um, as you can clearly tell by the map filling in every now and then. Hello. Galactic Sage. Is this where I'm going to find a Galaxy Stone by any chance? Go left. Save point. Good. Get that. Ooh. Okay. Wasn't sure how far this would go. Galactic demon guards. Ooh. And empire giantess. You're the same as before, though, actually. Aren't you? Okay. Ah, I forgot I was in chaos, so I can't can't stop time it right now. Come on. There we go, level up. Mind refresh. Oh, these don't hurt. I totally thought these spinning wheels would hurt you if you tried to stand on them. But you can't stand on them properly. Okay, I see. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Just do this quickly. Go back and get some health. And I think I'm going to explore the lower level first before I go higher. Because like I said, in these types of games, going up is progression. Whee! There is a lot of space around here. I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to explore the top of the map. Max Aura. Okay. Uh, I don't suppose you guys... No. There's not any floating platforms to make use of, so I can't, like, jump and dive on them. Alright, well. Give it a shot. Um, does Light Wall stand in the air? It kind of does. Okay. I was not expecting to just work in the air. All right. Okay. So that's how you can explore the map fully. I mean, I don't think I need to do that. Unless... Maybe I do. All right. Let's go and get Max Aura and see if we can't do that across the entire portion of the map. Uh, let's take out this enemy. Thank you. At night, I drink Linden, also known as Lime and Basewood Infusion, which is good to relax and help get to sleep. Uh, Ortilia, the plant of the Linden Infusion, I like that one too. At the beginning, I didn't like that much tea or infusions, but now I quite like them. I don't like tea, actually, but you understand. Yeah, like, I understand what you mean by that. Oh, okay. So the light wall is always going to be above me. So in that case, what I should do is take out all the enemies first and then do a, like an increasing staircase. That makes more sense. Alright, let's do that. Pull 
health and aura. Don't need to bother with you. Right, but we do need to take out all these enemies in our path now. Come on. Alright, that's two. Thank you. Come on, Giantess. There we go, that's good. One benefit to... Oh. Hey, Camistar is now following us on Twitch. One of us. One of us. Thanks for following Camistar. Uh, hope you're enjoying the stream. Military armor. Is that the one I've got on? Uh, military armor. No, it's way worse. Okay. Yeah, that uh, sound effect spooked me for a second while I was in the middle of fighting all these enemies. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, hope you're enjoying what you see. As I say, uh, this is Time Spinner. It is a game that is made by Lunar Ray Games and is published by Chucklefish. Um, and for anyone that quite likes like Metroidvanias and Castlevania games and so on, I would recommend checking it out because it's a lot of fun. Right. How far to the ceiling can we go? Okay, we're at the top now. Okay, so there is a, there is a door. All right, but I kind of need more aura. And I need to get rid of you as well. Ooh, can you have light walls stand on top of each other? Try it. Okay, I see. So you kind of have to judge where you need to put them in order to have it escalate in the right manner. So I think we'll try about here. And you know what, I'll just use an item, um, ethers, sure. Hopefully I only need to use one. Try and move them across a little bit further rather than... Ooh, it takes a lot of aura actually to make these. Use another one. The problem I have is that I don't know how quickly they stay. But we got there eventually. Hello! How you doing, Giantess? Please don't crush me. Uh, ooh. Oh, breakable floor. Okay, that's weird. Empress robe. So, worse damage, better defense, worse will. I think doing more damage is more important than more defense, honestly. So, uh, yeah. Uh, chamomile tastes like chamomile. I don't know how to explain it. Fair enough. Um, I was watching your Wargroove playthrough from YouTube and decided that I would check out your Twitch. Oh, well, thank you for doing that. As you can probably tell, Chucklefish and uh, Time Spinner are both... Sorry. Wargroove and Time Spinner are both published by Chucklefish because they seem to have the same kind of liking to pixel art that I do. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad you checked out that as well. Empire Crown, yes. Look at that. So, how are we doing for other helmet stuff? The buckle hat gives a bit more look, but everything else is worse than the crown. Um, and we've got Chaos Soul. Yeah, we'll put that on. Uh, more damage, less defense, mm, fortitude. No, I think I'll keep that on for the time being. Okay, well. Uh, I see. So yeah, they they make sure you have to have light wall to get there, so you have to use to get out again. Makes sense. Cool. We're just moving along. Excuse me. Oop. I go that too early. Uh, does this break from above? No. Okay. Fair enough. Ooh. All right, save. Ooh. Yeah, um, I really like pixel art, and uh, Chucklefish have published a lot of pixel art games like Stardew Valley, Wargroove. Um, I think Eastward is coming out soon. That's going to get published by them. Uh, Inmost is out now. In fact, that is published by Chucklefish. 
um, Starmancer, and a couple of other ones that I forget the name of. But um, yeah, they, they've got a really good portfolio. Um, I think I want to take you out first. There we go. So, and then can do the light ball trick again. Okay. So let's go right first. Ah. Max health up. Always handy. Uh, let's ju just jump right. There we go. I'm going to assume that this is a secret part of the map because you couldn't come here without light wall. So this is not required to finish the game, but it is maybe required for a different ending, perhaps? We'll see. Ooh. All right, one more room. Oh, this actually leads back here, okay. Let's go left and then up first, shall we? Didn't think you'd stop me. Oh well. Oh, got a guard. Hello. Alright. How high does this go? Mm. Gotta say, this radiant orb is really powerful. I'm enjoying that. Uh, how many well guys are in the war groove? Let's play. I'm not sure. Right, this is it. Time to meet my father and end this. That's the final room. Okay, well, in that case, let's go and explore the rest of the map first. Because uh, there is a lot we have not done in the Emperor's Tower. I don't know if it was just me, but I was kind of expecting the final boss room to be top right of the map, not top left. But I suppose... Uh, this game had other ideas. Uh, yeah, you have to judge that jump really precisely, otherwise you will drop through the platforms. Ooh. Oh, hold on one second, guys. I'm getting called by my mother. Be right back. 